Hey beautiful people, we're going to get into a DIY customized design wine bottle and tumbler for the summer and it consists of the Juneteenth and Father's Day wine bottle decor. So first we're going to start off with the Quiline brand for the metallic gold. As you can see I'm starting it up, starting it up with a fresh empty bottle and then we're going to spray paint it gold. Then we're going to let it dry after a few minutes so you can leave your bottles outside or you can start taking it in. But I usually wait like an hour, a couple of hours like after spray painting. Um, so now you see that we're back and I'm starting off using my Cricut Explorer. So right now I'm just trying to find some SVG images. I did upload a few from Etsy. You can purchase some from Etsy. Uh, these were real affordable ones. The one is a dope dad SVG. So I was trying to find some SVG images for my bottles and a tumbler. So you see black dad with a mustache. That was an SVG. So it's dope black dad. So um, as you can see, I did. I mean was able to cut those out use my transfer clear tape transfer the images to this white tumbler and we're going to take another image with the dope word and put that on using the transfer tape so I'm using my Cricut supplies which is the wedge and the scalpel <coughs> so Cricut Explorer 2 is awesome so if you haven't already check out some of the other videos that I've had about the Cricut Explorer um, how to use it um, so just check those out that is above but yes this is it for the tumbler the white tumbler has the dope black dad now we're back to the gold wine bottle. I'm taking you back because in the first part I did show like spraying the bottle with gold. Now we're back because I went back and forth. But um, this image is a fifth. The dad uh, fifth made and the kids fifth as well so you can see the fifth image SVG image so I found that on Etsy as well and I just used three children's fifth because this is for my husband Father's Day and we have three kids uh, so yeah use the image with the transfer tape and uh, then use my wedge and scalpel to put the image on there so with that, I'm just working more on finding another image for the wine bottle on the other side. So I worked on one side, now I'm going to work on the other side. So I'm using black vinyl. Black vinyl, I mainly did use black vinyl for a lot of my images. So, oh, Black King. So that was another one. And this was found on the Cricut, uh, Cricut Maker uh, design space. So I was able to find this. So I'm taking that, took the transfer tape, put it on there and use my wedge and scalpel. Then on the other side of that bottle, now I am putting it on using my wedge and scalpel. Then I'm making sure that the words are staying on there. So the scalpel is used to make sure that your words stay on there really good. So it's not trying to come off. So you see, I was trying to take my time with it. There we go.
So taking the transfer tape off the wine bottle and now we have the Black King and Black Vinyl on the gold bottle on one side and the father's fist with the three kids fist on the other side. Now we're going to go into the name. So I put in the text for Nora, Renee, and Michi. Those are my three beautiful children. And then we have number one dad. So as you can see, this is getting uh, ready for Father's Day and Juneteenth Day. So as you can see, I got the Nori. She's the firstborn. And I put hers on the black vinyl and used the Cricut Explorer for it. And then just taking the transfer tape, transferring her name to her fifth. And then the same thing for Michi. Did the same thing, put the transfer tape over the vinyl. And so you use a scalpel to make sure that the word, the vinyl print stays on. Because sometimes the vinyl will try to come off. But the best vinyl to use is permanent vinyl with the regular Cricut. Uh, transfer tape so just doing that as you can see on the other my shirt says Juneteenth right <laughs> so celebrating Juneteenth um, it was an event that I went to so I just had on a shirt and then um, so the next I'm doing this before Father's Day Juneteenth so now continuing on I have Nay who's my youngest so we got Nori, Michi, and Nay and so I put their names right in front of their fist. So it, it, it was like an awesome SVG father's fist with their children's fist against theirs, each other. So I thought that was just so cute. So that's why I thought, okay, let me use this image to put on the wine bottle. So I'm using the same thing, transfer tape. Now you can see the completed work on that side, but we still gotta put first number one dad. And then we have Black King on the other side. So put the number one dad right on the top. We have the transfer tape. And we're gonna do the same thing. Put the wedge and the scaffold to make sure the image stays on. So now we've completed the other side completely. So now we're gonna have Black King and then we have number one dad with the father's fist and the kid's fist on that side that's coming together. I love it. Now, second bottle I'm using is getting ready for the Juneteenth bottle. So I did a Father's Day and a Juneteenth wine bottle. So this is the black bottle that is spray painted black. And while that is drying, I just wanted to come back and go back to the Father's Day bottle because I still had to put the ribbons on. So that is what I'm doing. And I, I'm just showing you the finished products of those two. But for the gold wine bottle, I need to put my ribbons. So for this, we are using uh, about five eighth inch times 12 ribbon. We're using the gold and black. And you're gonna cut two inches off of it and using the gold and black so that's a 5 8 inch the details are in the description on my page so I just decided to do the first thick black ribbon going around and then I took a few inches off the gold ribbon and it was a little smaller so I decided to for that to be the center part with the gold ribbon and I'm using my glue gun and scissors. See, I have that going. Okay. And then I'm using a glitter gold. I sprayed a few glitter gold on there as well. Give it a little bling, give it a little shine. Okay. That's completed. Awesome size. Mm hmm. Then I wanted to add a little decor as we saw earlier. So we still gotta finish up the tumbler and we have dope black dads. So I just wanted to add on just the norm. That is my husband's 
Nick, that is his name. That is his business name. He has his own page on YouTube as well called Just The More. I'm Just The Art. Uh, there's other names I'll put in the detail, but I just wrote the text out and then all I did was use the transfer tape, put it on the Tumblr. So now you see the completed work. And now we're about to get into the Juneteenth design. So I started off with using a Juneteenth design and I first wanted to do three types of colors that represent Juneteenth red yellow and green so I'm doing that and I'm using a mug so I just started off Juneteenth and then with the red color vinyl so this is yellow green and yellow yellow green and red vinyl permanent vinyl and so I have Juneteenth so same thing when you get your uh, image, put it on the transfer tape. So this next one is in another Juneteenth design that I found on Etsy. Well, I found it on a Cricut Maker design, and that is going on the go the black wine bottle, the black spray painted wine bottle. Same thing. Use the Cricut transfer tape. Put the image on. So as you can see, it's a lot of back and forth. So right now I'm back and forth between the wine bottle and the mug. So I went back to the mug. I found uh, a Juneteenth color fifth. Cause it said Juneteenth and then I found a Juneteenth uh, about like fifth for the Juneteenth. And so with this I'm using red, yellow, and green. And with the Cricut Explorer image, they do allow you to separate those pieces. So that's what you have to be careful about. Is when you do you can take different colors and separate the pieces. But just make sure you bring them together. As you can see some of them is kind of bubbling up. So you will have to make sure that you use the scalpel or the wedge. To make sure there is no bubble part on there. I did the green the same way. So as you can tell it's like a black power fist. Mm -hmm. Black power. Juneteenth. Then I use the red, green, and gold permanent vinyl as well. To print out the words culture, freedom, and excellence. I got them all ready got them all ready so now I am taking the image off the sheet she's in the transfer tape first put the culture word on that top and then we're gonna do the same for the other words okay make sure you get those words on there nice and I got excellent If you have a little bit of excessive paper that's hanging off, make sure you use your scalpel to get it off. So culture, excellence, and freedom. Amazing, amazing. Celebrating Juneteenth and Father's Day. And this is a summer edition. Summer wine bottle and tumbler mug edition. And there we go, completed for the Juneteenth design. So if you are new or returning to this channel, I just wanna thank you for just coming on and watching and just being a part. And I hope that this helps. And if you are an awesome creator yourself and you love this type of design, go ahead and uh, pretty much check out some other videos if you want some other DIYs on Cricut Explorer and wine bottle decor. Thank you for watching.